A brand new AI art generation tool has just burst onto the scene in a very big way, and it is a game changer. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Let's jump in. There is a brand new AI art generation tool that has been taking at least the print on demand and creative space by storm, and it's called Ideogram. Now, one of the biggest issues that we've had with AI so far is that it can't interpret text. When you want to do some kind of creative text or a slogan for maybe a t-shirt design or something else, it just doesn't work, right? It kind of pops the letters out in weird ways and misspells words and doesn't know what's going on. But this new tool called Ideogram is pretty mind blowing and it's actually really, really easy to use and it comes up with some incredible art. So in this video, I wanna show you how to use Ideogram for your print on demand or apparel business, some of the incredible art that's already been created with Ideogram and some tips and tricks so you can get the most out of it. So the website is ideogram.ai and if you go there, you can actually get a free account, it just takes a second. And when you load it up, you're immediately gonna see this on your screen. You have a couple different options here, recent, trending, following, and top. And if we scroll through, you can see some of the incredible art that is being generated. And you can actually see right away, even just looking at this one right here, how it actually interprets text uh, pretty well. Now there's definitely gonna be some situations where the text might still not be perfect, but what I found is that most times if you uh, run it through a few times, run your prompt through a few times through the, through the system, you can usually get it to get pretty close. See, Stranger Wings right there is pretty funny. And there's a ton of art here. You could scroll almost endlessly uh, and look through what other people are creating. You can find inspiration. And one of the cool things here that I love is that because you can see all this art on the front page of Ideogram, you can actually look at the exact prompts that are being used that might help you if you wanna create something similar or maybe get a similar style. So if we scroll back up here, and let's go back to this Celestial Harmony one that we saw up here. If we actually click on that, you'll see a couple really cool things. So first of all, you'll see four variations of that design right down here, and you can actually see the, the actual prompt. So they did use a t-shirt prompt to get kind of a t-shirt style design, and you can see how they put the words in quotations. And then if you wanted to, you could even hit the remix button to uh, add this image into your prompt for inspiration for what you wanna create. Now, all you have to do to create your own art with Ideogram is scroll up here to the top and it says, just describe what you want to see. Some other really cool things about Ideogram, this is a very simple tool, which is one of the reasons I love it so much, is you have all of these different styles down here that you can also click. So if I wanted to add photo in there, maybe typography, um, and there's a lot of different other ones we can use here, I could add those in uh, to, to add that to my prompt and to the style of my prompt. Another thing that I can do is I can just click lucky style. If I kind of just want something random, I could click that there, which is amazing. You'll also see over on the right that we have a few different uh, dimensions that we can use, 10 by 16, one by one, which would obviously be a square, and 15 or 16 by 10, I believe that says, which would be wide. Generally, if you're wanting to create a t-shirt design, I would recommend going with the 10 by 16 option, which is gonna give you some of those tall designs uh, that will work better on t-shirts. So what I've done here is I've typed in a prompt that says t-shirt design of an angry tiger head vibrant colors, blue with text that says tiger vibes only, white background, isolated. And what I've done is I've clicked 10 by 16 so I get kind of a taller image, perfect for t-shirts. Let's hit the generate button and see what... <laughs> Are you looking to grow your print on demand or apparel business or maybe start a brand new one from scratch? If so, I wanna invite you to go check out my free masterclass over at shirtschool.com, which will teach you our shirt school system for building a profitable and scalable online apparel t-shirt print on demand business. Over the last three years, we've helped over 40,000 people create new apparel businesses, and it's been one of the most amazing things that I've ever been able to do. So I'd love to invite you to just go check out that short class over at shirtschool.com. So here's the full generation of what we got from our prompt, and you can see that two out of the four generations that we got, they got the text correct, and they actually look really, really cool. I love the color combos of these. I think they look awesome. but. Although I really like this one, I'm not loving that tiger. I actually 
you know, think that this one and this one actually came out a little bit better, but the text didn't interpret right. And this is pretty typical. You'll see this happen. And what I found is that generally one or two of them might have the correct text, but then a couple of them might not. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to redo the original prompt and see if I can get something maybe a little bit better. So I'm going to generate it a second time. We're gonna give it just a few seconds here to come up with those, that art and we'll go from there. Hey, if you're enjoying this video today, please do me a huge favor. Just take one second and tap that like button. It really helps us out to grow the channel. And also consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon to make sure you get notified when new videos release. Okay, here's what we got and wow, this is incredible. Uh, these are the four generations that we got and this time it pretty much interpreted the uh, text correctly on all of them, which is pretty pretty awesome. I really like this final one. I think this one looks like really retro. I love the color combos. And from here, well, all we need to do is download this image, probably upscale it using something like vectorizer.ai. So from here, all we need to do is download this image, remove the background, and then we can pop it right into a print-on-demand provider, bring it over to Etsy, whatever you wanna do with it from there, you can actually add it onto products and start to sell it. So there's not much else to say. For the majority of this year, I've been using Midjourney because I think it's been the best AI art tool. And now that Ideogram has burst on the scene, uh, it's just really changed things because it can interpret text. And the designs seem to be more tailored towards you know, designs that you would use on a t-shirt or apparel or maybe even like wall art or something like that, uh, as opposed to Midjourney. Midjourney creates these beautiful art pieces, uh, but Ideogram seems to be tailored a little bit more towards the kind of products that we sell, which is one of the reasons I love it so much. Now the future is yet to be seen for Ideogram. Will it become a paid tool? Uh, will it, you know, change? Will it go away? Who knows, but right now, Man, it is amazing for us in the apparel and print on demand space. So I'd encourage you to go give it a try, check it out and start creating designs for yourself. See you next week.